Oh my god. I have no idea what the hell is going on right now. <laughs> Can we get some hype in the chat for fucking strawberry shortcake, dude? Let's go. Made by ecosystem.com. E K O. <laughs> oh my. I can't. I can't imagine it's good. I hope that it fucking is, though. I hope it's the best game we've ever played, but I can't actually imagine. Fuck, strawberry shortcake of all things is gonna be uh any good man i uh i hope the title theme song here isn't <laughs> isn't copyright i mean look i'm sure it'll be fine i'm sure it'll be fine <laughs> oh my god it looks great 2006 and those characters from cleveland inc used under license by the game factory american greetings and rose logo oh boy Thank you, Silence. Yes, fucking let's go, dude. Strawberry shortcake, man. It's exciting. <laughs> Hydrate. Oh, shit. Do I have a drink? Did I forget to grab a drink? Wait, no. I got one. Hold on. I got to get my drink. <laughs> no, fuck, I'm gonna die. Okay. I got it. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> oh, man. This song's a fucking bop, though, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake. Oh, I hate my fucking life. <laughs> what kind of game do you guys think it's going to be? This is one of the uh, small handful of games I don't have a box for. I just have a loose disc on this one here. I got it for uh, like really cheap as part of a bundle from a yard sale or something like that. So I know I know absolutely nothing about it. Better than NASCAR? It depends on the NASCAR game, because like we have that uh, that one NASCAR game that's actually decent, because it has like the whole rival system and shit. But if it's one of those NASCAR games where you do nothing but drive left, mm, I might be with you on that one. Ten bucks. The plot is strawberry shortcake is asleep. All of a sudden, all her friends are trapped in the dream with her. The Sweet Dreams game, maybe. That's a good guess, honestly, man. I don't think I've ever actually watched a Strawberry Shortcake episode or movie. Did they do movies or did they just do a TV show or... I have no idea, but maybe. You could be right. That's I, I think that's a pretty good guess, man. I'm thinking it's going to be like... Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be like a collection of mini games. Either that or like point and click style game. But like, I, I don't know how well a point and click game would work on a console. So I'm thinking just like a, a collection of mini games or something. But I have no idea, dude. I guess we'll find out. There's only one way to find out. Let's uh press the start button, man. Let's go. Oh, we got options, man. Let's check that out first. Got to get them options in. Uh, okay, no options. Let's get... <laughs> you thought Strawberry Shortcake was rainbow bright until I saw the splash screen? Strawberry Shortcake, to me, are those ice cream bars, man. The really good ones. It's like vanilla ice cream with the crispy strawberry things on the, the top of it or on the outside of it or whatever. Like, that's it. Nope, not even subtitles, man. Got sound effects, music, vibration, and we can move the screen around. That's uh, that's all we can do. Oh, actually, we can move it a little bit to the left. Or to the right. Look, I don't know my directions. Directions are hard. Continue. I can turn it up a little bit, though, if necessary. I will do that if we need to. Which, actually, I mean, the music is kind of loud. Or kind of loud, kind of quiet. I'll go ahead and turn it up to... There we go. Let you guys, let you guys get that... Them beautiful tunes, man. Gotta get everyone rocking out to Strawberry Shortcake. Alright, new adventure. Let's get right into it, man. See what the fuck is going on here. This is gonna be great. I'm so excited for <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake, dude. <laughs> uh, I can't believe... Oh, shit. I forgot to update the stream title and shit. Uh, Strawberry Shortcake. Sweet Dreams. That's fine. That's not perfect, but... Strawberry shortcake, strawberry shortcake. Oh god, there's like multiple oh, strawberry shortcake games. Snap. How are you? Very good, I hope. I can't believe it. I don't think I can dream anymore. Can't fucking dream. 
Why not? Get you some mushrooms. That'll do it. <laughs> Anybody else notice how fucking slowly she was walking around? I'm really worried. Okay, no, she does run. So wait, it's a... It's a 3D platformer? Or not really. We're, we're stuck to a path, it seems like. But, like... When I have time, tell D or David that, uh... <laughs> that I want to play Hunt. I'm assuming he rage quit again. At least there's subtitles. Yeah, that is... That is good. I'm I'm happy for subtitles. Collect some magic seeds, man, to unlock them special gifts. Look, honestly though, like for like a you know a, a kids game or, or movie video franchise, I don't know what the hell it is. Anyways, like going with a side-scrolling platformer thing is pretty decent. But one thing I'm already fucking annoyed about, whenever I was going around here, let me go, let me go back over here real quick. Mr. Noodle with the 20 bits. Thank you so much, love. Thank you both. Chocobo, Noodle, both you guys, seriously. I appreciate y'all. But we came around this corner here. So naturally, I just started turning the the stick. Noodle with another 20. Let's go, love. Um but yeah, we came around the corner and started coming up. So naturally I like started rotating the stick around to walk towards the screen. That doesn't fucking work. I'm pressing down on the left joystick. It's not doing shit. <laughs> you gotta actually, like, you have to hold right the whole time. Even whenever you're walking towards or away from the screen. Another 25. Let's go, dude. Gotta get that first place. I'm in for the 69, though. I'm all for that 69. Find the keys to open the door. I can do that. You know what that makes me think of, legit? It makes me think of, uh... Oh, shit. What was the name of that game? It was on the Dream Dream Master or something like that on the original NES. It's one of the handful of games that I got whenever I was a, a kid in, like, a duffel bag from my... I think my grandma, if I remember correctly, gave it to me. Anyways, I really liked that game. I ain't gonna lie, dude. Never beat it, though. I always found it kind of hard. You almost forgot something? What the hell did you almost forget, dude? If it's important, don't forget it. If it wasn't important, then I mean, I guess I guess it's fine. <laughs> Do what you want? I don't know. Scooby-Doo mystery alarm clock. Let's go, man. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> That's actually a kind of hard jump for what I assume is a kid's game. Because, like, you got to... You got oh man, you gotta like really jump last moment on that, dude. Uh, but yeah, no, did you guys see what I posted in the Discord? It's probably a few days ago, but it was uh, Scooby Doo related. They're making an adult Scooby Doo animated series. Like, the, the the oh damn, okay, there's fall damage. What kind of platformer has fall damage? Anyways, um. The, the characters aren't adults. They're still, you know, before Mystery Inc. was officially formed. So, like, they're still kids, teenagers, whatever. But it's adult-themed. Like, there's there's cursing. There's at least butts, I guess, from what I read. I don't know about full nudity, but there's butts, uh, drug use, etc., etc. Like, people are pissed Velma is South African. Oh, I didn't even realize that. That Velma was South African. I noticed... Excuse me. That, uh... They made Shaggy some kind of a uh, minority. I I don't know which which uh, like specifically. Um, wait, what is what what is uh help? What was that? <laughs> I just <laughs> we collected that hat. Everything like went zoomy for a moment, and then we just went back to normal. That was weird as shit. Frankly, you don't care as long as personality sticks. Yeah, that's how I feel about the, the, the show, too. Like, from 
whenever I saw that uh, Shaggy wasn't just your normal white dude or whatever, I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever, dude. As long as it's still Shaggy, the only upsetting thing is that it's going to be voiced by someone different. Like, that's that, that was the worst part of the whole announcement. But, uh, but I mean, like, that's fine, you know? As long as they still do a decent job at it, the voice for it. Scooby-Doo homage in Venture Brothers? You know, I've never watched Venture Brothers. Never seen a single episode of it, honestly. I don't know how uh, how I've avoided it for as long as I have. Avoid might be a little harsh, because it's not like I'm purposefully trying to avoid it. I just, yeah, never seen it. It's not going to be uh, Matt Lillard. I always feel like I mess up his name, man. Lillard? No. No, it's not. <laughs> but... <laughs> Send a pick in Discord? Oh, wait, is that what you're yelling at me for? To look at the pick in Discord? Hold on, I'm pulling it up, I'm pulling it up. Oh, that is cute, dude. <laughs> it's the mystery machine with a clock built into the side. That's pretty cool. I do like that. That's nice, man. That's sick. Hopefully, they are at least asked him this time. Yes, what Noodle said. I don't actually know what Noodle said, but, uh, what she said. <laughs> I doubt they asked him just because he's not your standard white dude. That's probably why they went with a different voice actor, I'm guessing. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems like more and more they're trying to pull away from... Matthew, the Matthew Lillard and Shaggy uh, thing. Like, I don't understand why though, because Matthew Lillard has always been, you know, Shaggy, and in a lot of people's minds always will be. The only thing I can think is maybe they're like trying to prepare for the future here. They're like, dude can't live forever. Maybe they got to get someone else to, <laughs> they got to get someone else to be, uh, to be Scooby, or to be Scooby, to be Shaggy, dude. I don't know. Hey, Nate, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, my guy. Glad you can make it in. Matthew's like the second best Shaggy behind Ka Casey Castle. Second best? Second best? I think... Oh, those might be fighting words for some people, man. I don't have enough attachment to anything in my life to care uh, about it, but like... I, I can... Oh, there's some people out there that would probably be very upset about that. Like... Was the first Shaggy? I I get that, but like Matthew Lillard and Shaggy, mm, mm. especially you know since he played the live action Shaggy and everything, people have some special attachment there, dude. Ooh, thank you. I love it. Please accept this for me. Wait, why are we why are we collecting gifts for people? Anyways, but uh. They use the original Shaggy's likeness in the multiverses. I haven't played multiverses yet either. I don't know if I'm gonna play multiverses to be honest. Oh, we run! That's what that hat is. We run for a very oh, short period of time. <laughs> that ended way more quickly than I expected, man. Hi, hi, hi to both. Hello, hello everyone. Hi, hi. <laughs> Demon Lord, what the fuck, man? Hi, how you doing, bruh? I heard you want to play some uh, Hunt Showdown after the stream's done, my guy. On the ever loving bug that's going on here. We're playing Strawberry Shortcake, dude. Get hype. <laughs> Let's play some Strawberry Shortcake. I, everyone out there, man, you need to pick yourself up a copy of Strawberry Shortcake and give it a play, dude. You'll have a swell time. It was Noodle's idea. <laughs> <laughs> just throw a noodle under the bus there. <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah, no, uh, Noodle's been voting on this game slowly for, for weeks. And, uh, yeah. It's actually, like, other than being really slow, I gotta admit, guys, it's not bad. Like, it's a very easy platformer, but it was also probably made for, like, five-year-olds or something. So, like, there's no point complaining about it. You'd rather go back to hunt? <laughs> That's fine, man. We'll go back to hunt as soon as the stream's over, my guy. Me, you, and Optijack. We'll uh, we'll we'll play some hunt showdown. 
Just try not to rage too much, dude. I don't want you to break your computer again. <laughs> Told you times two. <laughs> you don't even like Strawberry Shortcake? More of a Care Bear? I knew you liked uh, the Care Bears more, but why the hell have you been putting all these votes on sh Strawberry Shortcake if you don't even like Strawberry Shortcake? See, even the game designers knew that the game was way too damn slow, man. Like, they, they put a whole power up in here just to help you get through this section more quickly. <laughs> Bruh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm tempted to do, like, a speed run of this game just for the fucking memes. Hey, maybe we can get a world record. I don't know, but I doubt there's that many people that have, uh, <laughs> that have speed ran Strawberry Shortcake, dude. Suppose you can get back on it too. Uh, well, this is where I tell you the bad news. I don't have the game installed. <laughs> I haven't had the game installed. Well, I guess that's not. That may not be true. I may have installed it, or I may not have uninstalled it after the last time we played. But you thought it would be funny. Jokes on you, Noodle, because it's a good game. <laughs> See, just look at this, man. You jump towards this cloud and you just teleport right through it. You don't jump high enough to actually get through it, but you can just teleport right fucking through it, dude. Look at this. Look at that. See, we jump this high, but if our head touches the cloud, we get sucked right up into it. <laughs> it's fantastic, man. Better boot her back up, fucko. Hunt's not bad, honestly. Like, I would rather play Gunfire tonight, but uh, if y'all want to do Hunt, I'm, I'm not going to say no to that. Oh, damn, dude. Strawberry just died. Wait, did we actually get the present, though? Yeah, okay, I kept it. Checkpoint. Oh, God, that's a, that's a prickly bush. Don't touch the prickly bushes. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Oh. Excuse me, game? <laughs> oh my god, this is... This is the worst power-up ever. Why would we want that? Like, just... Here, of all places. Like, I get the... I get the jumping... Power-up for... To, for certain puzzles or something like that. But, like, bro, we're just running around right now. God damn it, I... I was turning the stick! <laughs> I'm sorry, but when you're walking away from the screen, you should push up on the stick. Uh, post the Venture Brother clip in Discord. It's dark, but they actually got permission from Hanna Barbera to use official sounds from the show. Which is what surprised me so much about the uh, the adult show, man. Like that they're that they're letting HBO make a more mature themed Scooby Doo show, and then of course there's the Scooby Doo Apocalypse comic and whatnot. Like it's just awesome that they let them do that kind of shit hunting for groovy treats i'm gonna have to watch it after stream just because it's oh, it's only a minute long everyone go watch it if you don't mind like dark shit damn they looking old man <laughs> Shut up, Patty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, being out of your box isn't right, it's a privilege. You don't want to go back in your box, do you? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Nobody can understand Scoob except for Shaggy. Oh my god, dude. This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> you guys should watch it. Let's go. Ruby treats is just a bottle of pills. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man, that's fucked up. That's great. 
Fred is Ted Bundy, Daphne is Patty Hearst, Velma is Val, Solana is Shaggy is the son of Sam, and Scooby is Sam's dog. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's great, man. Who is Trevor and why does he have a project? Okay, so the Trevor Project is a, a charity aimed at... I'm sure it was based off of someone named Trevor or something, but I actually don't know the full, like, backstory to it. But anyways, they uh, have, like, call centers and things to help out troubled uh, teens and, and young people in the LGBTQ community with the goal of decreasing suicide among that, that specific group. Um, so it's a great cause, I feel like, and, uh, yeah, so why not raise money for it, like? Sorry, you thought of the song? <laughs> what? What song is that, exactly? We missed a key. How the hell did I miss a key in this? Uh, I was gonna look at the box to see what the recommended age was. But I, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> Oops. I think there was, like, a pop-up showing somewhere. Like, maybe... Maybe, uh... Oh, god damn it, bird. Bird! Uh... Yeah, right here. Like, where the frog jumpy suit is, maybe? So, wait, are the seeds, like, our health? Is it, like, the rings in Sonic? But... Oh, the Sean Kingston song? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I gotcha. Wait, is the key hidden down here? It is! Sneaky key, dude. Nope. That's fine. I get it. I mean... I don't know. <laughs> so I don't really have any... You've heard about it now. That's what's important, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but no, it's a, it is a good cause. It's a good cause. And uh, Twitch lets you raise money for charities now, so why not? I mean, it doesn't hurt me at all. The worst case scenario, somebody was going to give me $5 and instead they give it to, you know, prevent suicide among young people um, in the LGBT community, which I think is a fair trade. <laughs> like, that's fine, man. <laughs> if you got an extra five bucks to give, sure. I appreciate the hell out of it. But uh, that kid that's really struggling with life right now is going to appreciate it a lot more probably. So, yeah. So far, your rating of this game, lame? It's fine. That's how I feel about it so far. I mean, it's a game made most likely for, like, really young kids. You know what I mean? So, like, if I was six years old and into Strawberry Shortcake, I don't think I'd be upset with this. You know what I mean? Like, it seems... It seems okay. It's just, like, whatever. Really young girls, more likely? I mean, yeah. Because, sadly... Wait, what? Now I'm confused. What? <laughs> I'm really confused, because sadly that's a thing. Oh, you mean like the depression and, and, and whatnot in young, young people? Like young girls? I don't know. I'm confused on what's going on. But anyways. It would specifically garden. market certain games Here, for girls like the shitty one. The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. Gifts. I mean, look. That first. was a problem for sure. And I don't want to discount that it was. But honestly, I feel like they just generally made bad games for kids. Back then, at least. You know what I mean? Like, uh, again, this one I feel like isn't terrible. And it was most likely marketed to girls. Like, I was, if I, like I said, again, if I, if I liked Strawberry Shortcake and I was like five, six years old or something like that, I could, uh, I think I could get into this. Wait, what are we doing right now? I wasn't paying any attention. Nintendogs was fantastic. You get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people did actually really like, um, Nintendogs. I never got into it myself, man. Nintendogs and Nintendo Cats. Wasn't there like a really terrible like baby version of that where like instead of cats and dogs or whatever you raise a child? I feel like that was something that I saw online not too long ago. Um, but yeah, that's also like a perfect example of a game 
marketed towards young girls that was just terrible. <laughs> I, I feel like I was watching Peanut Butter Gamer or someone uh, on YouTube talk about it, and uh, it looked terrible, man. Never owned a DS, GBA to Switch. Damn, man. I, uh, I didn't play much on my GBA or on my DS. I had a Nintendo DS, and I liked my Nintendo DS, but, like, once I played Pokemon on it, I... Pokemon, uh... Diamond and Pearl on it, I was like, well, I don't feel like I'm ever really gonna care about anything else on this machine. So I just gave it all to my, uh, to my little cousins. My Pokemon games, which I regret now, because, damn, those things are expensive. And, uh... <laughs> and my DS and all that. And then, uh, I don't know, six years later, I was like, you know what I fucking missed, dude? Pokemon. Got myself a... I actually already had a Nintendo DS, but bought a, uh, a couple of the Pokemon games that I had missed out on there for a few years. Oh, this is just a dead end? I thought we had to go to the end here. No, I guess this is just a bunch of different stuff to unlock. Kind of sucks that you have to run all the way down here to unlock stuff, man. <laughs> like, that was a long walk. Is she sweating? I just realized she's like... Oh, no, that's a watering can. I thought she was sweating, just running back and forth here. Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap's pretty sick, dude. I have the new one on Switch, but I haven't played it yet. Well, okay, I haven't beat it yet, rather. I, I have played it. I did the first uh, few levels in it, and then uh, haven't really had time to go back to it yet. Unlock a recipe? What do we need recipes for? Does she cook in her show or something? She's a lady, she glistens. Uh, what? Noodle has some weird ideas in her head, man. The Scooby games being fucking badass. I, I haven't played them. I grew up loving Scooby-Doo, loving it, man. But for whatever reason, I never played the games. I, I guess quit. Sure, we'll save again. Whatever. Yeah, until I uh, played that one on the Super Nintendo, which sucked, <laughs> that uh, Jonathan had me play. And then uh, the one on PS2. It's like, other than that, I haven't played any Scooby-Doo game that I can think of. Ooh, the that I've played this longer than MLB. <laughs> I don't like sports, man. <laughs> I just can't get into them. Oh my god. The controls on this, dude. You zoom side to side, my oh. I'm trying to go faster, you're not letting me move. Let's fucking go, dudes. Can I collect the giant candies? I'm assuming the giant candies are a bad thing. Is this Dreamland? What is this? Are we tripping right now? Uh can I jump? Uh Oh, we have like full control. We can just go up and down and whatnot. We're like full spaceship right now. Okay, choose your way. Uh, right. Sure. I, I'm clicking right, dude. They think she sweats strawberry syrup. <laughs> now I just kind of want like some strawberry ice cream or something. Oh, uh, no, Noodle and I were talking about doing a, uh, what was it? Was it a white cake with strawberry icing? Is that what we were talking about doing, love? I remember you said something, but... Is this a prequel to Kingdom Hearts? Oh, totally, dude. This is what gave them inspiration for the gummy ship missions. Now, let's just go right all day, man. Right all the time. How the fuck does the snooze on this clock work? I, it's your clock, man. I don't, I don't know. A white cake with whipped strawberry icing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. Oh, my God. I need to pay some attention, at least, because, like... There's not enough zippers. <laughs> Tetsuya Tomura just loves him some zippers, man. Oh, God. This level's pretty boring. Like, the first level was whatever. This one I'm legit bored with. I'm not gonna lie. Of course, I don't really like the gummy ship missions on uh, Kingdom Hearts either. Man, are they ever gonna release the Kingdom Hearts games on Steam? Because I saw there's a... Uh, I think it's for Kingdom Hearts 1. It might be for Kingdom Hearts 2. Or was it 3? I don't remember. One of the, the numbered... Great. What's going on I here? I was sure everything would be alright. We really are very good sailors. 
very good. We're very good. Anyways, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, or 3, one of, one of the Kingdom Hearts games has a mod on PC. Um, it's like an overhaul mod for the whole game. So, like, I do legit want to check that out because it looked pretty good from what I what I was watching of it or uh, on YouTube. And, but, like, I don't remember anything that it does now, though. <laughs> like, just trying to think back and remember. I don't remember... But it sounded good at the time. I remember thinking, "Fuck, dude, I really wanna, I really wanna get this and and try it out." Plus, it's just time to replay through all those games anyway, so might as well do it on PC. All right, lemon meringue, let's go. Fuck. It's impossible to jump high enough here. Hmm. If only you could grow a plant, it'll allow you to jump higher. Reminds you of a really great place downtown that has a frozen strawberry drink that was fucking fantastic Whoa, what kind of like, like a dream. was it like a uh like a slushy or like a froyo or a milkshake or something what kind of what kind of frozen strawberry thing was it you piqued my interest that's for sure Okay, so lemon meringue can just make dream trees, like, with lemons on it, dude? What happens if you eat the lemons? Are they just hallucinating right now? I'm not convinced this isn't all a hallucination, man. Oh, God. Oh, shit, I'm out of dream powers, dude. No more dreams for me, man. Oh, thank God. We refilled our dream meter. Why did Ginger Snap say she can't sleep? I don't know, dude. I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still thinking that they just gotta eat some mushrooms from the magical forest or some shit, and everything will be okay. Can we soft lock ourselves? Damn, man. There we go. This, this should be good. Like, I'm wondering if we actually need the, uh, dream trees to beat the level. I love the gifts. I have some seeds for you. Thanks, dude. I don't know your name, but thank you. Kind of like a frap, but with no ice. Do frappuccinos have ice in them? I don't know. I guess the... Thinking of it, I guess the only frappuccinos I've actually had have been from like the the bottles that you can buy in store of starbucks frappuccinos i don't think i've ever had a fresh frap before it's normally a blended ice drink oh okay oh god damn it how do i get those ones i want to get the can i land on this cart no okay all the carts are a no no we had the vanilla bean one from Starbucks. I don't remember it. I remember going to Starbucks and getting a drink, but I don't remember like the specific one or anything like that. I mean, I guess it was the vanilla bean, but Demon Lord, you still need a beacon marsh there. You're save corrupted and you haven't the energy to redo it. You're save corrupted? That sucks, dude. I, uh, I've never had that problem before, but I've also never played on PC, so, I mean, I've only ever played it, played it on, you know, PS4. I was about to say, like, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, etc., but then I remembered you were talking about Kingdom Hearts 3. I've played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. Surprisingly, haven't played it on the PlayStation 5 yet, but let's be honest, it's only a matter of time. I'm sure I will at some point. We expected it to be coffee, but it wasn't. You said everything you're saying sounds right, like sounds familiar, but I don't actually remember it. Like, I don't remember what it tasted like. I don't remember it being vanilla bean. You sell them at Tim Hortons for the low price of something. It's not the low price of nothing. God damn penguins. Oh, I thought for sure we were fucked there, man. Not gonna lie. 
Sometimes, sometimes for the price of nothing. I have a question for you. Why every time that I order from Tim Hortons, I order a uh, a tea latte, a decaf tea latte with three Splenda? Do I get just a cup of hot tea? Like, why, why is that so hard to make? Do you know, working there, do you know what a decaf tea latte with three Splenda is? Like, <laughs> I think a bird just shit all over the screen. That's... <laughs> Ass little mini game, man. Because basically we're shit. Okay. I mean, I can't argue with that, man. That's <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> what what is this, <laughs> dude? <laughs> that was such bullshit. I ran into one and it forced me back through all of them. They need to either reduce the knockback on that there, or give you a couple more iframes or something. That was some bullshit. But yeah, no, every single time I order that drink, man, it's fucked up. Like, not literally every time, but basically every time I order that drink, I just get a, a hot cup of tea instead of a tea latte. How do you get a decaf tea latte? I go to the counter and I say, hey, I want a decaf tea latte with three Splenda. And then I get a tea latte with a decaf tea latte with three Splenda. If I'm lucky... Sometimes, sometimes I just get a hot cup of tea <laughs> with or without Splenda in it, but like, <laughs> but no, they just, they steam the milk like they do for a latte and you put a fucking tea bag in it and then you dump some Splenda or whatever in it and there you go. It's a decaf tea latte. Well, since it's a decaf one, specifically use a latte has espresso. No, a normal latte has espresso. A tea latte has tea in it. A latte is just a hot, uh, a steamed milk be beverage. Now, the normal one is made, of course, with, with espresso. Um, but you can make it with tea. And as Mr. Noodle said, it's on the menu. That's a thing that they officially sell, but they fuck it up every time I order it, man. It's ridiculous. I don't get it. I feel like we're supposed to be running here or something. I can't make this any... Okay, we made the jump that time. This is kind of a hard jump, man. I'm not going to lie. I really got to get on the edge here. Oh, God. Oh, God. We made it. Interesting. <laughs> uh, see, this is why the uh, drink's always messed up, dude. Because you got people like Demon Lord working there. <laughs> can't fucking make a drink. How you work in a coffee shop and not know what a latte is, my guy? They have a chai tea latte too? Yeah, they do. I mean, that's the thing with, with the tea latte. Technically, you should be able to get it with any tea that the place makes. Because, again, it's just steamed milk that you dump some... Oh, why did I make a thing here? Anyways, it's just steamed milk that you dump some... Fucking... Tea into, or... or dump a tea bag into dunk a tea bag into i think some places do make it with like a tea concentrate instead of just a tea bag but technically you could do could do either any secrets man you got like presents in back here or something no nothing not a damn thing i kind of want to decaf tea latte now i'm not gonna lie kind of feeling it but it's not worth it especially since i don't know if i've ever brought it up on stream but my car has a uh, gas leak in it i must have brought it up at some point but uh so like just going a few miles cost me the same as going like 10 miles <laughs> which still isn't that much but it's like i could just not you know waste three dollars in gas to get a two dollar drink that's also a, a, an option just make it here you got me the decaf bag i mean that's true and i think we do have some splenda left in the uh cupboard pretty sure we do at least and we do have a milk steamer well an espresso machine that has a milk steamer attached to it we also have a milk frother <laughs> we have a lot of kitchen appliances i'm sure i brought that up on stream at some point but uh 
I have a little bit of a kitchen appliance addiction, dude. As soon as I turned like 18, I was just obsessed with kitchen appliances. God damn it, we're dead. Could have if I had decided to film it. Well, yeah, but if you were working there and I asked you for one, you wouldn't know what the hell I was talking about. You would have just given me a shot of espresso with some milk in it, man. Like, <laughs> that's not what I fucking want. I still do not understand this power-up. You would have walked him through it step by step. I would have had to. Once I get my, my cup of hot tea and milk, I would have had to fucking walk him through it, dude. If it makes you the best. <laughs> Do you know how to steam milk at your place of employment? Do you know how to put a tea bag in a cup? <laughs> there you go, man. You know how to make a tea latte Fantastic. with steam. I mean, you're not wrong. You have found Dream Town. There you should find the giant rainbow that leads to the Dream Factory. Let's fucking go, dude. The land of dreams. Uh, do I want to save? Sure, whatever. <laughs> so, whenever it gave us the option of unlocking things, I thought this was like, I thought they were power-ups or something. I didn't realize they were just more characters. I'm going to unlock a recipe real quick if we have enough seeds. Excuse me. Welcome just because I'm curious seeds. what the hell the seeds, or I'm sorry, the recipes are for. And then I think we're probably done with this game. <laughs> like... <laughs> Okay, so that's raspberry tort. Orange blossom. What's on the battle pass? The battle pass for what? Angel cake? Best game ever, man. 10 out of 10. Ginger snap. Best game ever, man. This? Oh, uh... It's, uh... I don't fucking know. I don't have a good retort for that. <laughs> um... <laughs> Great! You have unlocked a new gift! Okay. What? What? What kind of gift? Is it in the menu? Select? What? <laughs> Okay, let's let's leave the level. Maybe we have to leave the level first to figure out what this thing does. This recipe that we just unlocked. Let me slowly walk all the way back to the beginning of the, the fantasy garden here. Those trees kind of make me think of uh, the Lombax movie. Is it called the Lombax? What's that movie called? Anyways, it kind of makes me think of that. Now I just kind of want to watch that instead. <laughs> Quit. Yes. Save. Why not, man? We all know we're going to come back and finish this at some point. Better keep that save. The gift of friendship, obviously, Gomer. <laughs> what? Game to complete? Yes. 100%, man. This is going to be a game to complete. You fucking know it. Yeah, we didn't unlock anything. We bought the recipe. It didn't do a damn thing, dude. You'll be voting. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, that's going to have to be like a donation incentive or something, man, if people want to watch me play this hot mess of a game. It's going to be like a, uh, I don't know, 100 bucks. I'll oh, finish this no! game. <laughs> the crystal's broken! Uh, we'll 100% it, dude. Let's go. And method. I'd rather not, personally, but you like, hey, Dark Cloud 2, you got it, man. Okay, I'm not, I don't, I don't care, Strawberry Shortcake, I don't care. That's uh, 100 votes for Dark Cloud 2, let's go. You developed a system for your laundry now, and you get irritated from your Nana not using it. Is this what it means to be an adult? Basically, yeah. Sounds like you're all grown up now, dude. <laughs> Do it for your speedrun game, or you'll vote for it for your speedrun game when speedruns happen. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to have to route a fucking thing for this. Uh, uh, route a route, I guess. 
for this game. I wonder if there's any glitches or anything so we can skip levels and shit. I'm actually curious, like, how quickly could you beat this game? What is the how long to beat on it? Has anyone ever beat this game? Like, <laughs> is there even a how long to beat for it? HLTB Strawberry Short. Oh god, I can't type like this. Shortcake, what's this one called? Dream Game? The Sweet Dreams Game, yes. Oh shit, dude, it's only two hours long. I'm going to speedruns. Uh, speed run. Let's go. Uh, dot com. Strawberry shortcake, the sweet dreams game. Holy shit, people have speed ran it before, dude. The number one time, the last speed run for it that was submitted was three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> One hour, 15 minutes, man. Oh, we might do it, dude. We might do it. Your, grandpa, your grandmother folded them and just threw them in a pile where you sort mine by type and when you wear them. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why Noodle hates when I do clothes, because I don't sort them. Hell, I don't even fold them. I just throw everything in the washer, throw everything in the dryer, and then either leave it in the dryer until I wear it or just shove everything in a uh, drawer or something somewhere. Like, I don't care. It's just, I'm just going to pull whatever's on top and wear that anyways. <laughs> I put almost zero thought into the clothes I wear. The only thought I put into the clothes I wear is, is this a comfortable shirt? No? Okay, maybe I'll wear the one under it. <laughs> like, that's it. Y'all doing laundry? David's just over there with or Demon Lord, whatever you want to be called. <laughs> Just over there with fucking clothes from three years ago. Still has that uh, ketchup stain from a hot dog he ate last Christmas. Like, do you eat hot dogs on Christmas? I mean, shit, I eat hot dogs on Christmas, man. That's, a, that's Christmas fucking dinner right there, dude. Let's go. You're doing laundry, but you need to know if I need to make someone a tea latte. I mean, if you make me a tea latte, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink it. I'm just saying, but it's totally up to you whether you do or not. All right, guys. So I have about 45 minutes left. Cause like I said, this was going to be a, a shorter stream tonight. I didn't plan on going the full, uh, three hours. Um, do we want to roll for another game or do we want to just, uh, call it here with strawberry shortcake? I need to know, I need to know what the people want. Do the people want more strawberry shortcake? Or do they want to roll for another game? Or does everyone just want to go to bed? Because uh, I gotta be honest, I wouldn't blame you for any of those. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> oh God. Killing me, Rue, killing me. You don't like the strawberry shortcake? Now have a good night, Rue. Thank you for coming and hanging out, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Look, I need you to DM me your address. I'm going to ship you a copy of a strawberry shortcake for for Christmas, man. <laughs> Don't fucking do it because I will. <laughs> I'm just warning you. I do make sure there's not an unfortunately placed hole in the pants. <laughs> oh, shit. Seen the milk, put the bag in, no water. Yeah. I think that's how they do it at... at Tim's at least, and there's a good. No more shortcake. Everyone's like, no shortcake, no shortcake. Breaking my heart, real. You're breaking your heart. <laughs> Have a nice night, dude. With a t-shirt folder included. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we'll send you a t-shirt folder and a copy of Strawberry Shortcake. But you have to play through the game entirely. If you can still hear. I don't know if you can still hear. They might already be gone. <laughs> might have to DM them with our proposition, man. <laughs> Oh, God. I I'll be real, though. Um, like I mentioned a moment ago, I actually don't hate this game. The ads are starting up, by the way. I'm not playing anything else, so no worries for anyone that's uh, that's doing that. You'll try to make the latte now? Okay. Thanks, love. I do appreciate you. But yeah, no, it doesn't seem like anyone wants any more strawberry shortcake, man. So I guess that's uh, that's probably going to be it for, for tonight. You know what we've forgotten to do the past couple of times, though? We've forgotten to check out the games that have released in history, man. 
Let's uh let's pull that up real quick. That's a way to waste a few minutes. I'm gonna switch us back over to just chatting because we're not we're not playing the game anymore at this point. Later on, have a good night, dude. Unless you're saying that to Rue. If you're saying that to Rue, then I mean, uh, I don't know. Later on to Rue. <laughs> Let's switch over to miscellaneous view. Uh, window capture. Uh, this day in gaming. Transition. There we go. I'm gonna turn the game down a little bit too. I'm gonna leave the music on just so there's music in the background. But all right, uh, we are like, ooh, pretty far back. Harvest Moon Back to Nature just got a new guide, like now. That's my favorite Harvest Moon game, by the way. Do I have a mug preference? One that can be put in the dishwasher, that's it. All right, for the PlayStation on October 10th, we had Alien Resurrection release. Ellen Ripley died trying to wipe out the aliens. Now, 200 years later, scientists have resurrected Ripley along with the alien queen, hoping to create the ultimate weapon. Wait, what? Is that the plot? Alien Resurrection is a movie too, right? Like that's the actual plot of the the movie? They must fight for survival and destroy the aliens once and for all. Ooh. <laughs> I, fuck man, I didn't know. PC arcade, PlayStation 2, Avatar The Last Airbender. We played that one, didn't we? We played, we played a Avatar game. I'm looking at my list real quick. Is that the one we played? We played two Avatar games, actually. Yeah, Avatar The Last Airbender. No shit, dude. This one was actually decent from what I remember. It wasn't terrible. Um, Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. Hey, we're just talking about Spyro. Saw a different version of the film. What was the version you saw? I've, I've never actually watched it. Uh, the only Alien movie I've seen was Alien vs. Predator, I think. So I don't actually know what the plot of it is to be like completely honest. But that's it for October 10th in history. We are pretty far behind this. Let's go back a day, man. Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, that's a good one. That one's actually pretty decent. We played that one too on stream. That one's fun. Mortal Kombat Armageddon, I think that's the one we haven't played yet. Uh, Yeah, we played Deception and Shaolin Monks. We haven't played Armageddon yet. What's that one about? Please enter your birthday to view this video. Oh, I don't care about the video. Fury of Mortal Kombat has brought the realms to the brink of total destruction. Every warrior has been summoned to the this last epic battle, where survival depends on their ability to fight. <laughs> you can't say? Wait, was it a porno? Were you just watching, like, an, a fucking alien porno movie or something like that, dude? I feel like David's over here watching porn right now. I know my smooth, sultry voice is uh, awfully titillating, Demon Lord, but put your dick away. <clears throat> Whenever this eventually gets uploaded to YouTube, I really hope, like, kids don't end up watching this fucking video, dude. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> uh, because, like, my, the videos that I, the, the VODs that I put up on YouTube of kids' games tend to get a lot of hits and I can only assume that it's like kids seeing it and I feel a little bit bad every time it happens dude like I specifically flag myself my stuff as not for kids like on YouTube but you know if a parent just searches for strawberry shortcake and then throws their tablet at their kid or something though my video might pop up and oh boy <laughs> it was Halloween at the time I don't know if that makes it any better my guy I, I don't, I don't <laughs> I mean, hey, you do you, but, uh, hmm. Thrillville Off the Rails lifts up the family-friendly mix of gameplay from Thrillville with some of the most wildly creative. Yeah, I know what Thrillville is. This isn't the one we played, though, right? We played a Thrillville game, or tried to, but the disc kept skipping, so we stopped. Yeah, we played just the original Thrillville. That's something to look forward to. Released 15 years ago. This shit just makes me feel old, man. <laughs> What else have we missed? Go back another day. Romance of the... Oh, that was a Japan-only game. Time Splitters 2? I want to play that at some point. Scarface the World is Yours? Uh, I don't know how I feel about Scarface. Never seen it, but... Fallout 3 Point Lookout, released on the PlayStation 3 on October 8th, 2009. 
Talk about making me feel old, dude. Holy shit. Fallout 3? Man, how long ago did Fallout 4 release? <laughs> that was pretty long ago at this point too, wasn't it? Like five, six years or something like that? It's crazy to think that the game's actually that old. Spartan Total Warrior, 17 years ago, October 7th, 2005. I have no idea what that is. You can battle hundreds of ancient warriors, both historical and mythical, in Spartan Total Warrior. As the Spartan, you can upgrade your weapons and armor and gain the favor of the gods as you fight through epic battles against units ranging from Roman soldiers to skeleton warriors. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Is this the this the trailer for it? One of the Falls must play games, apparently, dude. Actually has decent ratings. Enough style to keep even the most cold hearted gamers entertained. The Fallout you put in chat? Wait, what? Like this chat or in in Discord? What are you talking about? I definitely didn't see it. It doesn't look terrible, Spartan Total Warrior. It doesn't look like anything fancy. When did it come out? 2005? So that was around the time of God of, God of War. It was on Discord? Yeah, no, I definitely missed it, man. Did you post it recently? Like, if I go back and look for it, will I find it? Bratz Rock Angels, dude. That's where it's at. That's the game we need to play right there, dude. We're going to have to get all the Bratz games. Just have a marathon. We're going to do a 12-hour stream, nothing but Bratz doll shit. A few hours ago. Total Warriors is fun. Pretty fun. I've never played it. I don't think I've ever even heard of it until now. Leisure Shoot Larry <laughs> Magna Cum Laude. Is that how you say that? I probably fucked that up. Can I show this on stream? I don't know. Let's scroll down. <laughs> when a TV dating show comes to campus, Larry Lovage, a typical college student, gets a chance for national exposure. If he can make any girl on campus swoon, he will become a campus legend. I, uh, I don't know how I feel about the Leisure Shoot Larry games, man. Budokai Tenkaichi 2 released in Japan on October 5th, 16 years ago, on this day. 16 years ago, not literally this day, but close enough. Oh no, not back. Go forward. Previous day. I don't remember when the last time we actually checked was. This is going to be the last one that we look at, though. The last day. Mortal Kombat Deception, we played that one. That was pretty good. Rise of the Imperfects on the PSP, that game was mm, 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 not great. Crash of the Titans. Is that the is that the game I'm thinking of? Or probably not, huh? No, it is. Yeah, this is the, the Crash game. I uh, I think I watched Kid Icarus talk about this. It seems okay from what I've seen of it. I've never been a huge fan of the Crash games either, though. So, I mean, there's that. But anyways, guys, I guess that's all we got time for tonight. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for uh, not too long tonight. We were only on for, what, an hour and a half? Something like that. Pretty short one. Oh, Jesus, fuck, hold that. That's hot. That's really hot. <laughs> I, I know you said it was hot, but holy hell. Oh, boy. Thanks, love. You don't do bad. You just burn off all my fingertips, that's all. <laughs> Thank you, though. It looks good. Let's love go. you. Anyways, guys, what was I saying? I think we were signing off. <laughs> Thank you again for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit. It was a short stream tonight, but honestly, I've just been tired. I am uh, excited for my vacation in a week, which reminds me, actually, one more quick thing before I go. Um, we are having a little vacation, Noodle and I, so I'll be gone Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I don't know about Wednesday yet. We may or may not be here Wednesday for the uh, for Metal Gear Solid. Hydrate? Uh, joke's on you, Demon Lord. I have another drink right here. <laughs> I see your game. I know what you're trying to do. Luckily for me, I got some Tangerine Mango Clear American. Burning my fucking throat. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Uh, have a good night, guys. Thank you again. I'll see you next time. And as always, be kind to each other. Have a good night, y'all.
<laughs> it was just a 